Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Tonight I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Bio Mutant. Uh, so we will make sure that Windows is properly set. After that, we will go inside of the game. And at the end, I will show you the config file. So what stuff that you can change to make sure that the game is optimized. Honestly, the game is not well optimized for now. Uh, it's really weird. Sometimes you're getting like 120 FPS, everything at max, like an, in the open field, like on my desktop. And after that, I just go on some random building and I'm getting like 43 FPS. So yeah, a lot of issue with that. But uh, with my guide, you will have like a lot, like your FPS will be stable and you will have a lot more FPS. So the first thing that you make sure on this game is the game mode. Make sure that game mode is at on. You're going to make sure that uh, it will use like the best core on your CPU. So on my Ryzen, it changed a lot of like, it's crazy. Sometimes in games, I can live, I have a nice 5% boost because of my um, Ryzen didn't like prioritize the best core for the game so this is a way that you can do it that will help you a lot uh the xbox game bar make sure that this one is at often important in this game it's crazy it's causing a lot of stuttering and also discord overlay make sure that you disable uh amd nvidia overlay really important uh, a lot of stuttering issue with that after that for capture make sure background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off Another thing that you can do is write GPU in your search bar, open the graphics setting, and make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Uh, you will need to restart your computer to make sure it's applied. Uh, you will need the um, NVIDIA Series 1000 or above, and you need the latest version of Windows. Not too sure if uh, now it's compatible with AMD. I'm pretty sure it's coming in. So if you have an AMD card, just drop like a YouTube comment if you can do it. That's about it for Windows. The last thing that you really need to make sure is your power plant. Make sure that you have like our performance or balanced power plant on your Windows. So you just write energy here. And on your video card, I will show you how. Go to control panel if you have any NVIDIA, AMD or whatever. Go to manage 3D setting. And you will have something called power management mode. And me, I'm using the prefer maximum performance. Normally, when you're on the desktop, you don't have any issue. You will have like a proper uh, power energy for your GPU and a proper power energy for your computer. But it's more for laptop people. Sometimes you're getting like some weird in uh, Dell uh, driver and your laptop is always in eco mode, even when you plug into the wall. So really make sure when you plug your laptop to the wall, you're using the performance one to make sure that you have the best uh, CPU gigahertz, best uh, GPU also. So uh, you want to make sure that you're using all your resources. So that's about it. Now let's go in the game. So now inside of the game. So let's press escape. Go to settings. Uh, the first thing that you want to modify is in the camera section. Make sure that your depth of field is at off. Normally, this kind of uh, video option is in video. And I don't know why in this game they put this one in the camera. Uh, for me, field of view, I'm modifying over here. I'm playing at 90. And the last one is uh, the camera shake. Honestly, it, it improved a little bit my... Uh, I feel like my uh, image was more stable, not on my desktop, but on my laptop. I removed the camera shape. I put this one at zero and uh, it will it helped a little bit with my FPS when I was fighting. So definitely look at this if you want to uh, j just compare it if it's better for you or not. But uh, I test this game on my laptop with a GTX 1050. So not a big uh, video card. And uh, yeah, uh, this one for sure. It's at zero on my uh, laptop. After that, we're going to go to video window mode. First of all, make sure that you're playing full screen. You're going to get some stuttering if you're playing borderless or window mode. So really important. The resolution play native. So depending on your monitor, if you have like a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p, 2K, 2K. Or if you have 4K monitor, good for you, go with 4K. Vertical sync, really important to remove it. Uh, they have some kind of bug. I'm not too sure what, what is it. When I uh, use the vertical sync, normally uh, my, my monitor is 144 Hz. So my FPS will lock at 144. But when I use this one, it's locking at 72 FPS. So definitely an issue with the vertical sync. So just put this one at off and it will unlock your FPS. Sharpening amount, it doesn't change anything on your FPS. So just do some tests. Uh, if you don't like sharpening, just put this one at zero. It really depends on what you like. Uh, by default, it's at 20 and I didn't touch it. Dynamic resolution. This one, put this one at off. You don't want to use uh, the dynamic resolution. I did a couple of tests. 
uh, on my uh, laptop also and the image is too blurry the your resolutions are always changing depending where you are in the map to try to get you a stable fps honestly don't use that just go off and set your uh, uh parameter by yourself resolution scale i'm playing 100 uh, don't go too crazy with this one you can definitely touch it after my guide if you're still struggling with your fps go with 95 you can go at 90 but uh, you will see that you're gonna have like some blurriness even some pixels sometimes so don't go too crazy with the resolution scale uh, so don't downscale too much me i don't frame rate uh, i don't limit my frame rate sorry i'm putting this one at off but definitely if you have some thermal issue in your computer and you don't want to run a crazy amount of fps because for an example you have a 60 hertz screen and you just want 60 fps you can definitely limit it over here and uh limit your throttling problem if you're playing for an example on a laptop or a desktop without a good airflow after that texture quality so make sure that you preset your going with custom. Texture quality, if you have 4 gig of VRAM on your video card, you can definitely go max. I3 gig, more than, uh, if you have 2 gig of VRAM, go with medium. And less than 2 gig, go with low. So me, I'm playing at max. Shadow quality, it's a bit weird this one. If, you go, uh, if I compare max to high, I didn't see a difference in my FPS. But when I go medium and even low, I'm getting like 3% for each one. So if when you go max to low, you're getting 6% boost in your FPS. So that's pretty good. Post process quality, you can get another like 7% boost if you go max to low. Why I'm putting this one at low? Because the game, when I put post processing, the game is very blurry. It's pretty weird. The anti-aliasing and the post process quality, they add a lot of stuff in it. I'm pretty sure the motion blur also is in the, in the post process quality. And when you put it at low, it's a a lot better you have less motion blur so that's why i'm putting this one at low uh better visual like uh, clarity and uh, more fps after that effect quality this one uh you can get a nice four percent boost when you compare max to medium but it's more when you're fighting uh, not a huge difference between medium and low so that's why you should definitely go with medium better image quality and you're not getting necessarily gain more fps if i compare low to medium and it's pretty much the same thing with the foliage density i was surprised with this one i thought like the foliage density uh, will give me more fps than that but it's like a four percent boost when you go max to medium and uh, not a huge difference with low so that's why i'm keeping this one at low at, at medium sorry uh ntl using this one they're telling you if you're using low you will remove it medium fx aa i and max taa honestly don't use taa for me it was very blurry so definitely you just have to choose between fx aa and low and the thing is when i remove ntl using this game it's very very weird because i I don't feel that I don't have any anti-aliasing. Yes, I see a little bit of line. I feel like low is FXAA, so it's a bit weird. Not too sure if they screw up like the parameter over here, but uh, definitely go with medium and low. You will get like five to six percent boost in your FPS, and your game will be more clear. After that, object detail, you're getting a nice six percent boost, max to medium. Medium to low, I saw a one percent difference, so medium for me is the best bet. For here after that you have two advanced parameter that i really recommend to use default if you have a really good computer i will explain you what uh, you can do with that for it's like the fur on like uh, your mount or your um your tune and stuff like that uh you in higher you're losing like one to two percent in fps and it's another two percent in max and the effect is really nice and i feel like the fur is more like clear so it's really cool. You can definitely use it if you can run it. And for the world distance, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, uh, resource consuming. Uh, when you go higher and max, I'm getting a lot of drop with those ones. So I really recommend to stay at default. So that's about it for the game. Now we will go uh, in the config file. I will show you where is it and make sure that everything is fine over there. So now for the config file, you need to go in your C drive users uh, the name of your computer app data make sure that you see your uh, hidden file in windows to, to see your app data local bio mutant saved config and windows no editor after that you have a file called game user setting double click on it and this is pretty much where you have all your graphic parameter that you can change over here if you have some detail that you really want to to make sure that it's apply 
you can definitely go here. The first one that, that you really need to look at it's the use the, the HDR display output. Make sure this one is at off, uh, at false. Uh, by default, it was good on my computer, but I had an issue before on the No Man's Sky. Uh, it was by default at uh, true and I was losing like 15% of my FPS. So that's crazy. Uh, so make sure this one is at false. The other one that you can do something with it, it's the view distance. Not too sure, honestly, because when you use default in the game, it will be equal one. So I did the test uh, equals zero and I lock my uh, game user setting. I'm getting like two to three uh, FPS more, but like it's tough to say. I did an average, you don't have like a proper benchmark in this game, so uh, I feel it's a little bit better. But definitely, if you have like 40 45 FPS, definitely test it and maybe comment in the YouTube section like what kind of result that you have. So, for an example, you like put zero, you save, you click X, and make sure that you block your file. So, right click on it, go to properties, put read only because uh if the parameter is not in the game each time that you will load your game it will be it will override your file and it will put equal one again so if you want to do that just do that if you don't want like after that you, you didn't like it just like uncheck your file here and put equal one again so that's about it for the guide, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in YouTube section, post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.